<laughs> let me ask you. Let me ask you. How does how does somebody like a Master P come along and throw a wrench in that whole system and say, instead of giving me ten percent and you get ninety, I want the ninety and you get the ten percent? Master P came into the game. Uh, the game was it was it was changing around. Came in with a strong situation. Came from the south. Okay, came from down south. Had some hit records. And by the, when they saw him coming, he was it was guaranteed money anyway. Okay, so I can distribute your product. You got enough product coming through because at one point in time, Master P had the back cover of all the magazine face uh, um, mm -hmm. plastic with his stuff. You walk in the mm -hmm. Best Buy, they got a whole shelf of that stuff, and you know people was buying it. He had the look. Mm -hmm. his, his stuff, his, his material, his, his music had the look, and and sometimes had the sound. And that's the only thing that hurt him in the long run was at some point in time, the, the, I think some of the sound fell off. But again, mm -hmm. you got, I don't know, I don't know he, he might have had 40 artists at one time, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you yeah. look at the back of the Source magazine, he got the whole page. Vibe I magazine, really, he yeah. got the whole page, huh? Yeah, you remember Billboard? You would go into a record store, and, and they had the top 100 Billboard. I remember going down county. He had 18 in the top 100. 18 people were of, of No Limit Records were on the top 100 Billboard. He's the only one that ever done it like that. Ruthless didn't do it like that, okay? Bad Boy didn't do it like that. He's he the only one that did it like that and won, okay? He, it worked for him. Somebody bought something. Yeah. You know, he claimed. Yeah. You know, they say he has some money. He has some money from outside sources to promote his own product. So that's where the, that's where all the expense comes in there, promoting the product. So if you got a pile of money to promote your own product, all they got to do is get it get it to the people. Then mm -hmm. their job is minimized. So you handle all is, your marketing yeah. and promotion. They don't need you. Don't need them. <clears throat> all you need them to do mm -hmm. is put the record in the hands of the stores. People will buy it. Mm -hmm. So that was that was that was his power when he walked in. We walked into a priority. I think it was priority. Yeah. Priority. Where yep, we it was priority. Uh, mm -hmm. It was priority. Universal. He, 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 oh, he was in with his nuts out. He, he, I got this. What you want me to do? I don't need yeah. you. You need. I me. don't need your five hundred thousand. I don't need your five hundred thousand. Why? Why do you think I'm gonna give you five hundred thousand dollars? You to give me ten cents on a dollar? That don't make no sense. All right, I got millions. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, man. Study Master P, ladies and gentlemen. If you're, you want to become an entrepreneur, the entrepreneur, read his story, learn what he did, because that can be done again. Things like that can be done again. We have, content creators have all the power right now, in my opinion. You know, when we do things like this, we have the power. When, when rappers, you know, build their own fan base on their YouTube and they're coming to the record label and they already have 400,000 followers, they have the power. So just know you have the power. Do not sell your soul. Hey, man. That, ah, see, see, ah, 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 that ain't what they're going to do, man, because understand this, man, used to be a time when you had an independent situation, you was considered a sellout, okay, mm. if, if, I'm sorry, if you had a major deal, you considered a sellout. Oh, okay, gotcha. If you had an, if you had a, if you was all the big guys in the beginning, Hammer was a MC sellout. MC Hammer, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Will Smith was a sellout, let him sell it. Rob Bates was a sellout, let him sell it. Because mm -hmm. the, the, the vibes of the streets were power to the people, okay? Mm -hmm. Public Enemy was the shit. Karis One was the shit. Four Righteous Teachers was the shit. But when they found a way to flip that around and materialism became more important, the people with the money became the most, became with the power. People lost their power. Right now the people don't have the power they, they people have the the power. People have the power, they don't use it. Mm. People have the power, they just don't use it. Slaves? If you want to stop certain mm. types of music from being played, stop streaming that shit. Slaves. Sounds like men don't, sounds I, like modern day slaves. Yeah. Sounds like modern day slavery to me. Anything you want to stop people from doing, just stop supporting it because all the only thing they care about is the money. If it's not mm -hmm. making money, they'll stop, it'll stop making sense. They'll look, they'll look for the next movement. Okay? If you stop wearing, people stop wearing Nikes and start wearing jellies, Nikes to have their own jelly line. Okay? Mm -hmm. If you stop playing um, killer nigga music, 
um, and start playing and start listening, start streaming some positive stuff. Yeah, eventually it, it may it may take a minute, but they'll they'll eventually flip over. All they care is the mm-hmm. money. They don't care about nothing else. They don't care about your hair, your culture. All they care about is the money. You got to understand, corporations are not humans. Mm. They're mm. not humans. They're they're run by humans, they're, but they're not humans. They they only driven by profit. Profit is their fuel. Their their only obligation is to their stockholders. So if a yeah. CEO can't find a new way to generate new money for his for his own corporation, he may get repla- He or she may get replaced soon. So as long as they're making money, they can do what they want to. They can mm. screw who they want to. They can do whatever they want to as long as they're making money. Anything past that, and that, mm. and that becomes um, a non-factor. You 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 you'll be unemployed. Mm-mm-mm. Damn, man, it's a cold game. It sounds like Lonzo. It's a cold game, but it's a, it's, it's a pure game, and we mm. don't play the game. Mm. We play. We, we we came here and played. We, most people play a different game and wonder why you always lose it. There it is. You, you can't win in a cricket game, dude. There, <laughs> you're, not gonna win, you're not gonna win a cricket game. Okay. Uh, you go down and you go you go down to Vegas, they got cricket dice, you're not gonna win. Mm-hmm, the dice yeah. ain't gonna be cricket in your favor. So if you got a situation that's set up for you to fail, but you keep trying to play a certain way in this game, you ain't gonna win. If you're trying to play mm. the the street gangster in a game that's looking for street gangsters, they need you. So if you out here looking like the looking playing the role, you ain't gonna make it. Mm. You're gonna be you're gonna be part of fuel for the system. If Damn. you think you can drive home drunk and not have a problem, oh, they got 502, 10 grand. Got us another one. They can mm-hmm. shoot somebody and get away with it. You watching? You watching too much television? They are gonna find your ass. Somebody gonna tell. Somebody gonna tell. Oh, mm-hmm. got another one. Another one. Mm-hmm. They go to another. They go to another job secured for the next twenty five years for another person. Babysitting your ass in jail for twenty five years is a job for somebody else. I told you about <laughs> my boy. I read an article. And the guy was saying how he uh, he went to prison, met his dad in prison. While his dad, while he was in prison, he was his dad was taking him around, showing him where to go, where not to go, blah blah blah. But at the same time, one of the secu- one, of, one of the prison guards had his son coming to work in the same prison, and he's doing the same thing. Watch this, you know, watch over here. The Mexicans over here, blacks over there, and it dawned on him. That his mistakes is a future for somebody else. Man, that's creepy, dog. Uh, that's pretty creepy, man. Damn. His mistakes. Uh, his mistakes is another man's future. With a nice pension at the end of it. With a nice pension at the end of it, Doc. Mm. Okay. Damn. All right. Mm-mm-mm. So once you understand that, you will stop playing. You, you don't want to play that game. Well, man, well, I don't want to be a punk either. Man, just because just somebody call you a punk don't make you a punk. <laughs> exactly. You can call me gay. It doesn't mean I'm gay. Well, I don't, I'm going to walk away. Somebody call you gay? Okay, don't. You, but you're so upset. Oh, man, he hurt my feelings. See, you, that's the game they want you to play now. They don't want you to mm-hmm. play the thought game. They want you to play the feelings game. Mm-hmm. Mm. Man, homeboy whooped your ass. You need to go, put, you need to go deal with that. Okay. How am I going to, if I fight him, he'll whoop my ass again, okay? Leave that fool alone. He got good hands. Shake his hand, okay? Leave him alone, period. But no, nah, man, hit man, go handle your business. It's like in the movies. And mm-hmm. guys on a bicycle and a skateboard rolled up and killed, killed one guy and shot another. That's crazy, man. And I bet you, I bet you, when they sit down and talk to the detectives, they're going to catch his ass eventually. You got cameras mm-hmm. everywhere. Mm-hmm. They talk to him in you know, and you get down to the root problem, the root problem, what happened? Oh, uh, man, we were playing basketball. He fouled me too hard. We got to do mm-hmm. something like that. Dumb shit. Something dumb shit. Yep. 
Sometimes, yeah, man, yeah. man, man, no, I was I was kicking it with it, man. I, I spoke out of this girl. I slapped her on the ass. He got mad. And we got into a fight. Mm-hmm. We my ass. Yeah. Well, guess it's gonna be guess who? Nah, man. It ain't gonna yeah. Go. Yeah. The, it, yep. It, you have to learn to de-escalate, man. And move the hell on. Mm-hmm. Yep. I've de-escalated many times in my life, and like you said in the past, you don't live to be 65 by being a dummy. You know what I mean? So listen to these words, ladies and gentlemen. That's game right there. Um, what do you got coming up on Thursday? Thursday, I, um, I might have to go back and grab my man from uh, the Universal uh, Hip Hop Museum. We had a yeah, that was dope. Last Thursday, but I got Big Les from uh, Living Color and Living Single. <sighs> Uh, on, on deck. That's going to be dope. I can't wait to see that one. Yeah. Make sure you guys tune into the station. Time, huh? No, no, go ahead. I met it for the first time a couple of weeks ago. That's just a still gorgeous, man. And I, we, we stayed down. We never met before. We never mm. met before. She was excited to meet me. I was excited to meet her. I was, you, she, you do my podcast? Only if you do my podcast. You got it. Ah, love it. So, That's dope as hell. Give a call tomorrow and see. Well, so I'm gonna see who's gonna be available. I won't know for, know for sure till tomorrow. This Monday throw Monday kind of threw me off, but I, I'll know in a couple in a, in a day or so. Dope, dope. Make sure you guys tune into the station, to the channel, and please subscribe, tell a friend, like. You guys don't understand how important the like button is. Hell, if you hate us, dislike. If you hate us, hit the dislike button because that helps us too. Believe it or not, it all helps with the algorithm. If we, if you, if you hate us, put it in the comments because that all helps with the algorithm. <laughs> hey, guy, and, and, and that's goes it goes right back to what I was saying. The the, the computer don't care. All this sees is activity. Uh huh. The computer does not. And when I was I was taking a YouTube class, um, and they told me, said, man, people people say dumb shit on purpose just to get the the dislike, just like they got the likes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. People want to the, all they want is the activity. It it, it, it it enhances your algorithms. It's a different mm-hmm. world, folks, than where mm-hmm. you can where you, what you where you come from. Trust me. Yeah, but obviously, obviously, we appreciate the love a lot more. We got a lot of love from you guys, so we just want to thank you guys so much. Tuning in every Tuesday and Thursday. All right, Doc. With that being said, my man Dusty Bishop, much love to you folks. Everybody in the chat room, thank you very much for checking me out on Thursday, y'all. I'll be back with somebody. Somebody's child will be on my show. <laughs> in the meantime, folks, this is Lonzo, the Godfather of West Coast Hip Hop. Like I said, every week, y'all, from the West Coast to the East Coast and everything in between, folks. From Eve After Dark to concerts in the park. We live with your boy Lonzo, the Godfather of West Coast. And Tuesdays, my man Dusty Visions in the house. Peace, y'all. Peace.